Um, I want to start off by saying thank you to my mom and dad for providing my brother Mike and I years ago at an early, early age the values of hard work, determination, caring for one another, providing the values, perseverance. That's what drives me today. So thank you. Unfortunately, she's not here today. She wanted to be here. Um, I know she's watching and I just want to say I love you. To my wife first, Jane, you are selfless about the family always. Thank you for everything you do for us. To my daughters, Ellie and Anna, beautiful, smart, you'll come to love them, I promise. Ellie is the one that keeps me grounded in her own way. She kind of makes me look at things in a different way. Anna, she's my energizer bunny. She keeps me going. She keeps me going and trying to keep me in the lingo, by the way, when it comes to the new stuff. I, but you are, you are my rock, you are my center of my world, you inspire me every day to be a better person, a better husband, a better father, and a better leader. You will see a lot of them, I promise you, around the community. Thank you, love you. All right, so my journey began a long time ago. As a young boy, just like many of you in this room probably, playing basketball in Miami, growing up, playing football in the streets, doing whatever I needed to do, multi challenging each other to a multitude of sports. Sports led me to obtain a college scholarship, junior college scholarship at the at Miami Dade Community College. From there, it gave me an opportunity to go to the University of Florida, not just compete there, and again, it wasn't big stats, coaches, sorry about that, but I was on that team. Um, we'll talk about the injury and all that stuff later. Um, but it allowed me to earn a degree and give me a chance to be a graduate assistant and be a part of that staff. I learned that year, those years, that my fire was ignited to be a part of this industry. I learned so much from some unbelievable administrators, coaches that are still impactful to me today. I also learned that our student athletes are the number one focus. We want to make sure they're a complete pe they're a complete person, and always putting their interests first. <coughs> Academics is going to be key. I also learned about teamwork, leadership, and working with a sense of urgency. Everything we do, we do it to the best of our ability with a sense of urgency. And the most importantly, appreciate the values of doing everything with class, integrity, accountability, and character. Those lessons took me from, and I'm not gonna go into my whole resume here, but it took me from Marquette, to Vanderbilt, to LSU, to New Mexico, and here today. I have continued to grow in my career, taking greater responsibilities, opportunities, and as Tillman said earlier, some pretty good challenges. I've never lost sight of why we do what we do, developing young men and women of character, and that will have life-changing experiences in college athletics. That's why we do everything. And we're gonna do it here at Houston. It'll start with the student athlete and their experience. We're gonna be about outcomes but measured outcomes. I want everyone to understand that. We're gonna, we're gonna, everything we do is about outcomes and we're gonna measure them. And at the same time, we're gonna hold ourselves accountable if we don't measure up. I met the entire department earlier, our coaches, and I, I, I'm passionate to see what we're trying to do here, but I'm also very excited because I know they're all in to make this happen. I'm gonna, bounce a little bit and I apologize for this but beyond the student athlete we will do our part to lift this university bringing together the people forging strong bonds to this institution we will get out in the community I will be out there and so will our teams and coaches and staff we will engage with supporters current future fans will earn their trust will work towards one collective future as Chancellor mentioned we want to be great, and that means we have to do the work to get there. We need the business community, alums, donors. I want everybody to be all in when it comes to making this happen. Our students, we're gonna get in there, we're gonna do what we need to do with the students, with the faculty, with the staff. We want to invest, but we want to do it the right way. We're gonna have no, we will not make excuses. You're not gonna hear me say, why not us, or we can't. Rather, 
We're going to embrace what we have, who we are, and we're going to make the best of it. Under Chairman Fertitta and Chancellor Couture's leadership, we fought hard to become part of the Power Five. Their efforts, their investments paid off with the Big 12 membership. But we can't stop now. We have to push further. We will invest. We will continue to find ways to do more. Not just win Big 10 championship, Big 12 championship, excuse me there. <laughs> Big 12, I, I, some, I put the little the Roman numerals and I looked at it quickly here. Um, we won't compete just for Big 12 championships. We're going to compete nationally. We want to be at the top of, the, of, of what it means to be in the power four. And then you know what? We're going to be the best of whatever, if it's a power two or power one. But make no mistake about it, we got some work to do. We got some work to do in the community. We got some work to do internally. We got some work. Great people. Doesn't mean we're doing things differently. We just got to, we got to look at things and see how we can be better. As you're aware, our, our landscape is changing, changing rapidly. The have nots and everyone else and whoever is going to play as part of this game is going to have to commit. And the commitment from, from the top down is we're going to do everything we can to be on the forefront of that. In the days, weeks, months ahead, I will immerse myself in this campus. I will immerse myself in this community. I will make sure that you see me, but more than anything else, I'm going to be listening and hearing from you. What makes Houston special? What do we need to do better? How can we grow our brand? We want to be the, the, the college of Houston. The, the University of, of Houston is who we are, and we have to make sure we do our part to make sure everyone understands that. We will win, we will graduate student athletes, we will engage in the community, and we will do this with the core values of integrity, character, and accountability. Lastly, and I'm done, because I know everybody else wants to, to do what they need to do, I, I, I can tell you right now, there's nobody more fired up than I am right now for, for this opportunity. I'm fired up to be a Cougar. I cannot wait to get started. Again, I'm grateful for Chairman, I'm grateful for Chancellor, the UH board, the Cougar community, entrusting me for this opportunity. Thank you, and go Cougs.